Well, so far, so good in the octagon for the Brazilian light heavyweight contender. Johnny Walker gets a step up in competition here tonight. Yes, and he has stepped up to every person that he's fought, and he's not he's dominated them. Now, the only adversity he had is hurting himself, finishing a right, fight, right, doing his right. celebratory worm. I said, Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker, you got to find a different way to celebrate, my friend. Yeah, dislocated his shoulder after the Misha Serkunov fight. That was another first round finish for Johnny Walker. Has a great frame, great length for this light heavyweight division. And we'll see how it goes for Johnny Walker Blue here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Walker is 28. Choi is 29. Walker weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a 12-inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. The there are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchup that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch oh, yeah. land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, Johnny Walker with another early land. This is a guy who fights like he is double parked outside. One of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. And prevailing wisdom is that eventually Walker is gonna find himself into a UFC championship scenario. Yeah. 
lunges forward with a left air. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice loopy punch. Nice punch to the head. Choice punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Goes to the body there. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Nice straight right lance. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Trying the flying knee there. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton, and to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Choi's hook to the body now is blocked. He loaded up on that right hand too. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. That punch no good. Oh, big left hand there. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Punch over the top. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And that left hook landed on the button. Let's focus now. Wild swing there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by the Korean Super Bowl. Big kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Head kick partially blocked. 15 seconds. Oh, spinning back. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Way to hide that leg kick. Five minutes in the books. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this one match that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Ooh, big shot, man. Lands flush with that right hand. Just a slip there. 
Pretty good right hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Nice punch here. They continue to exchange. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. A good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. That was a nice strike. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head. A lot of times, it's the end of the night. I've got a little experience with that. Yes, I do. Horrible. 72 total strikes have already landed for Johnny Walker. And striking at a 40% clip tonight thus far against Johnny Walker. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. It's not over. It's not over. Big punch land. Ooh. Big body kick. Connects with a right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, nice. Nice. Right punches there. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Choi. Nice kick. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Good punch lands. Go for the single. Go for the single. Now connects with a right. You need to take that now. Sliver kick. He goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate. He's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Straight punch lands. Big leg kick lands. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. Drop that left bottom. Wow. Point accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Big right hook coming, it's blocks. Nice punch land over the top. 20 seconds to go round two. Nicely done to the body. Nice kick. Lands with the left. Two rounds in the books. some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive the serve as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Leg kick checked nicely by the Korean Super Bowl. That was lightning fast, that right hand. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know, this still had a song out of Overeem's head. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And he has... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. trying to shut the liver down. Powerful leg kick land. I saw a taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Nice. Oh, beautiful strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it exactly where he needs to go. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood and water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Punch is blood. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. And he put it to good use there. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Nice kick there by Choi. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near-perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 42 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout, Johnny Walker! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke